a veteran kindergarten teacher at Abbott Elementary. Take a look. Barbara, what are you doing tonight? I'm going to a screening of Rocky Horror at my church. <laughs> they take out all the cursing, all the references to sex and sexuality. It comes in at just under 26 minutes, and it is a hoot. It's a yearly tradition. We've watched Nightmare Before Christmas, but only the Christmas parts, Practical Magic without the witchcraft, and Hocus Pocus without Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> millions around the world with her epic Emmy speech this year. Please welcome the Honorable Cheryl Lee Ralph. introduced you, I introduced you as the Honorable Cheryl Lee Ralph because you were awarded the Order of Jamaica. Yes. Yes. Tell me about this. You know, there is, it's sort of like when Denzel got the Medal of Honor or Idris became Sir Idris Elba. I am now the Honorable Cheryl Lee Ralph Order of Jamaica. Yes. Girl. And it was amazing. I'm just, you know what, I, I, to watch you, when we watched the, everybody here watched your Emmy speech, and, and I cried, and I, even now, I mean, this right here. Cheryl, and, and to watch everything you are doing, at, what has your life been like since you won that Emmy? It has been, I went to bed one way and woke up a whole nother way. <laughs> you know? I, I have said this before, and honestly, Sherry, it's as if I've been holding the mic, but now it's unmuted. Oh! Yeah. You know, the doors that might have been hard to get through or were closed, you know, it's like they're open now. And it's just, wow. It's really amazing. Oh, my goodness. And we always wanted to hear what you had to say, but it just, it rings so differently with this, yes. with this dream become a reality yes, that you does. were talking about. Yes. And you, you, you inspired just everyday people, mm -hmm. everyday women, but you also inspired celebrities. I, I, I didn't know I could get inspired so much watching you, but Oprah was inspired by yes. you. Yes. Girl. What was that like? We saw that hug. What were y'all talking about right there? You know what? We were talking about the fact that I've had moments in my life, the birth of my children, uh, but, you know, getting married. But this moment right now is right up there. I will never forget anything that's been happening to me since then. And we were talking. Yeah. It's something about when it happens later in life, the yeah. appreciation for it yeah. is so much more. Oh, it means so much more to me because I remember every mountain I climbed. I remember every stone that I had to break. I remember every window I had to climb up and through just to be seen and then to be one in... Come on now, come on now. Oh, yeah. And to make it, to be able to stand there in front of the world and be called one of the best in the world. Oh, hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. Come on now. I tell you, I should have bought a Honda. Girl. That's it. That is it. When you over here speak, holla shana haya, holla This is when you speaking in tongues, you know. Woo, girl. girl. I'm telling you. 
Oh, you was you were saying you were speaking a word of life into everybody. Come on. This is like you are inspiring people so much here. <laughs> Lee, you they made a whole Halloween costume of you. Did you see this? This is you with the Emmy. And the baby the is ba the Emmy. The baby is the Emmy. I'm like, my God. Look at this. It's amazing. Cheryl and Eiffel, she dressed up as Mrs. Barbara Howard. Oh I was like, God. oh my goodness, this is just wonderfully iconic and outrageous, and I love it. Oh my gosh. This, it, it, I, 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 I am living vicariously through you because it's so wonderful to see people just giving you your flowers. And so much so, I just found out you were walking in Rihanna Savage Fenty show. Yes. <laughs> what? What? I know you can't speak a lot about it, but I really can't. But but how, just tell me how you feel. Well, first of all, I love that Beijing girl. I love her. <laughs> yes. She has she has such brilliance. She has such style, and you know, you can see that she knows she has it when she walks into the room, and I'm like, yes, uh, yes. As we would say in Jamaica, we said, go de gal, go de gal. <laughs> you know? and, and the show, baby, let me tell you something. This is not some Victoria's Secret show, no. no, no ma'am. This is something on a different level. I was like, Okay, yes, I loved every minute of it. Okay, can I ask you one thing? I don't know if you're gonna be able to answer. Are you gonna be in some of that Fenty, that Savage Fenty lingerie, maybe? Of course. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot wait to watch Thank this. Thank you. Oh, you better go ahead, Diva. And I did not come to play. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a seasoned professional, and the meat is tender. See, y'all didn't hear that, and she said, and the meat is tender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, girl. Oh. Now, you were honored with the, I want to get this right, the National Ally Award for yes. Equality yes. by the Human Rights Campaign. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. Kamala Harris and one of my bestest friends, Lisa Ann Walter over there. Mm -hmm. But you, tell me about that. Uh, you know something? I've been doing some of the hard, difficult work over the years, talking about the effect of HIV and AIDS on women, especially women of color. Yes. And there have been so many times in that fight where people told me to shut up. It wasn't my fight. I mean, a church once told me that God would find no favor in me for caring oh. about those people. No. And that was such a hurtful moment in my life. But I knew that the God I served, when the lepers were ill and the lepers needed help, he went there to the people. I knew that that was the church that I celebrate. Yes. So I've been continuing to do this good work. And after 30 some odd years, I was awarded by the HRC Human Rights Campaign with the Ally Award. Congratulations. Now, you're acting. We love you in Abbott Elementary, but Thank Mike. You. I love me on Abbott Elementary. <laughs> oh my God. I am, I am so fortunate to be able to wake up in the or morning, really early, like four o'clock, yes. and go to work with people that I actually like and we care tell, about. We can tell that you love yeah. your castmates. And we have a wonderful time. And we have a great leader in Quinta Brunson. And she has just put together an amazing cast, an amazing show. And I'm happy that the world is loving it the way they we are. We are loving it, loving it. Now, I know another time when you have, like, you bond with your cast, yes. might we see you on Broadway? Yes. Or what is yes. going on? I have to tell you, I said I really want to come back to Broadway, but this time I'm coming back again as a producer. Yes. Yes. <laughs> of a, a wonderful new show that's going to be star starring Audra 
McDonald. Oh, ooh. In a drama. Ooh. Telling a story. And you hear me tell people, don't give up. Don't you ever give up on your dreams. The writer of The Ohio State Murders, which is the play, yes. she is 91 years old. <laughs> and this is her big break. And I tell you, when I see that woman, I look at the ancestors and I say, she was here for me to be here at this moment this to moment. say, mother, sister, I see you. That's so, it. Yeah. Ooh, thank you so much.